Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, the Ada Ezekweli channel and my name is Ada Adeze Ezekweli. So today from the title of this video, you can already guess what it's about, but I'm going to be telling you guys my experience so far on YouTube, what my family thinks about me being on YouTube, what my friends um, think about me being on YouTube and how, we, how, like, how the journey has actually been. So. Um, if this is your first time watching me, if this is your first time seeing this build here, please just, uh, I'm sure you're going to like this channel, so just click the subscribe button, okay? Click the subscribe button and watch and be entertained. So, the first time I made a YouTube video, I actually started my YouTube channel officially. Um, I started officially in, on the September 30th, 20. 19 yeah i started on the september on the 30th of september 2019 but i didn't fully start then but that was when i put out my first video and but let me just we re re like rewind to this youtube journey the first time i actually filmed a video for my youtube was in i think 2018 december or so the other 2018 december i filmed my first youtube video ever it's so funny that my first YouTube video then, we, okay, I don't think we were on strike then, but I know something was up. And now we have been on a nine month strike again. It's God that will help me to graduate at the right time with this country. Let's just put that aside. So the first video I made was um, December 2018. And I remember I filmed the video in my Lagos house. Currently I'm in Enugu, I'm making videos from Enugu State. But then I remember I was home for the holidays. And I like, I went to the um, city room, I opened the windows, the curtains, because our Lagos house is well ventilated. The lighting there is just superb, unlike here that they are, we don't have so much windows. <laughs> so, I remember I made the first video, my sister Chioma, if you check my sister tag, she actually helped me film the video. And I just did it, like I just filmed the video in the parlor. Then, that was my first time trying to start YouTube, and I remember... I had a friend that also has a YouTube channel. Um, shout out to Chinene Victoria. She was my roommate actually and she started a YouTube channel before me. So I told, I asked her on tips. Obviously, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube because I feel like the, anything you need to know, you can find the answers on YouTube. So I actually checked YouTube for how to start a YouTube channel, but she put me through personally because she had already started her own channel. So I remember then I downloaded the, the YouTube Studio app. She then I didn't have a laptop and I still don't have a laptop, but I'm like I'm using my phone. So I downloaded, I remember I downloaded Kind Master app on YouTube. Uh, sorry, I downloaded Kind Master app, I downloaded the YouTube Studio, I downloaded Canva. Those were the three apps I first of all downloaded, started my YouTube channel. So then I was using a Gioni phone, a Gioni um m something i think m5 i can't remember but i know i was using a journey phone then so after i filmed this video i was very very anxious because that was my very first youtube video i've always wanted to have a youtube channel since i was my first year but i was just thinking of the possibilities so i kept postponing and postponing and when i now when it was 2018 december i was like you know what i'm going to start like i'm going to start 2019 with my own youtube channel like i've been postponing it for so long then after downloading after filming the video watching it correcting i was so happy like finally maybe on the first of 2019 i'll just upload the video then to edit the video is now allow like my phone then my journey phone then didn't accept the kind master app i didn't even understand if it was just my model but it kept saying this model doesn't support this app something like that so I, I called my roommate and Chine and asked her what is it? My phone is not like editing the videos. Then she was like, it edits. Then I Googled and found out that my phone model didn't support the app or something like that. Honestly, I was so devastated. I was like, what's all this? I finally gathered the courage, the everything to film this video. No tripod. Mind you, then I didn't have a tripod. If I didn't have anything, all I had was my phone. So I was really, I felt really bad that now that something i've been postponing for two years now i've finally done it what's now holding me back is just to edit it like are you kidding me this is not a laptop this is just basic edit because one thing about using currently i use my phone to edit my videos and using your phone to edit your videos can really limit you because there are a lot of editing styles i see there are a lot of tutorials on youtube on how to edit properly but most of these tutorials are for like final cut pro and 
you know all these apps all these um, softwares on laptops and i don't i use my phone like your phone can really really limit you to the type of edit to do and i feel if i like as when i was using an iphone because i've seen a lot of people that use their iphone their iMovie app to edit movies it's kind of better it's actually even better safe but what will you do now you have to make do with what you have so then i couldn't upload my video i couldn't even edit my video so i couldn't upload it i was so i was actually really sad but then on the other side i'm i'm kind of happy that happened because like three months after then my phone spoiled like my phone just went off on me so i'm kind of happy because as mean i started posting and three months after my phone spoiled that means and i wasn't online for a very long time because of my phone that got spoiled so like that will have just been discouraging because then i'll just suddenly stop like how many people would i come and start explaining to you that my phone was having issues not that kind of thing now so that's how that one stopped then um fast forward to um 2019 september and my birthday is in september so i got a new phone for my birthday that's this phone i'm using my samsung i currently film with a samsung a20 yeah i use the samsung a20 to film this video i film with it i edit with it i upload with it in fact this phone i'm using this is my samsung a20 is a one-man show i use it for everything concerning my youtube for my thumbnail to everything i use my samsung phone so then when i got the phone for my um, birthday i was like okay now that i have a phone i'm going to start doing my youtube but then if you scroll down to my first video the first video i uploaded on my youtube was actually a vlog and honestly i didn't even plan to do that vlog we just i remember where we had an e-sport meeting in school so i was like you know what i'm just going to like i'm just going to vlog it and when i was vlogging it i was not like you know what i can just actually put this on my youtube and now that video has like over 1.3 thousand um 1300 views like i'm happy because that's my first video and i remember um for a long time i had only 45 subscribers now i'm still on road to 1k and at times i don't even know where the subscribers come from my subscribers are not so fast now but i'm happy because at times i'll just wake up and see it increasing two two three three and i'm not really advertising to anybody per se so i'm happy when i see it so now that video has 1.3 thousand like sorry 1300 views and i'm happy because then i had only 45 subscribers in fact i had 45 subscribers for almost two months or three months safe it was hard because then i didn't have so many people on my whatsapp list so once i just upload it i will like i told virtually everybody i know i put it out on my facebook put it out on my whatsapp my group chats i was just trying to solicit for subscribers and I, all I could get initially was that 45. But that 45 subscribers, it made me so happy. It was till a few months later before I was not like, wait, though, I can't just keep leveraging on this 45. Because the 45 subscribers were not even moving. So I was like, I can't keep leveraging on this 45. So then I think I started doing aggressive marketing. I can't even remember exactly what I did. But I know that then I went from that 45 to 200. I think I was just being quite nosy and annoying. <laughs> Let me say that I got the remaining extra 150 people. Anybody I meet, do you know hey, do you know have a YouTube channel? Like I that I was just advertising aggressively and somehow somehow I got to 200. But after I got to 230, I stopped doing aggressive marketing. And one way or the other, my I started getting more subscribers. I can't say this is exactly what I did. I don't know, like I can't say this is exactly what I did, but I know that after that 230. I, I just calmed down and then my subscribers started going. There are some days I'll wake up and I'll be seeing 10 more subscribers. Like I would have really loved that. Now I don't know what I was doing then, but I was just happy that at least I was not seeing fast growth, but I'm seeing constant growth. So then when I got my phone, I started videoing. I started making videos again. <clears throat> Though I, I wasn't consistent with my upload days or anything, but I was just trying to put out videos. Then I kept doing that till March, early March this year. Then I stopped. I stopped doing my videos because I felt I needed to upgrade. I felt really bad about my video quality and everything because it wasn't as sharp, like it wasn't as sharp as I wanted it to be. But then gadgets are very expensive, guys. Gadgets are very, very expensive. Like I've checked the cheapest camera I've seen now is just like 150,000. I know when you buy the camera, you have to buy the lens, you have to buy the mic and all those other things. So gadgets are really, really expensive and i'm not working 
I'm not working to like and let me just say those things are not at my disposal but thank god i've been able to get like a ring light and this small cute mic i bought on jumia so we're just getting to the permanent sites most more that's why you have to subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends okay so um why like why did i actually want to start a youtube channel i wanted to start a channel because as i said earlier i really love youtube i've always been watching youtube since my ss3 i'm always on youtube i just love youtube i love I love YouTube so much. I was like, you know, why not create? Why not be a part and be a contributor of this YouTube space? So that's why I just started my YouTube. And my fears, actually, there's nobody that doesn't have fears. Um, part of my fears are not growing, not having a a, a growing channel because I want my channel to grow very big. And I'm putting now. I'm trying to be really consistent. Right now, I'm just putting out videos once a week. But if I can do more, I'll obviously increase my upload days. And thank you for everybody who shares my videos, watching my videos consistently. Thank you so much. You guys are the real MVP. So those are like some of my fears and challenges. And the thing is that because I don't have such a big following on Instagram, at times there are some kind of see finish. See finish in the sense that somebody that really knows you might not want to watch your channel because they'll be like, ah, oh, you that I'm seeing every day, like what are you doing that is so so special and i have to use my data to watch you you know that type of see finish but then you have to keep pushing on because you meet challenges some people have legit in fact one person legit came to me to me one time i was like you don't get paid so why are you using your data why am i using my data you there are some things you do that you don't get paid for and chops your money but you do them anyway so if you really believe in something and you really want something i feel you should be able to invest towards it that's just it so um now how i'm staying consistent i don't know if i can give such advice but i'm trying my best to stay consistent now what does my family think about me doing youtube because some people there's this girl that her family almost disowned her because she has a youtube channel like almost true just imagine my family almost throwing me out of the house because i have a youtube channel that's just like that's the most strangest thing i've heard so far but my family are really supportive of my youtube channel um they are really supportive everybody is supportive one way or the other and that's one good thing about having a good support system even if i get discovered even if i upload my videos and some views are bad i even though yeah at times it get really discouraging but i keep pushing because my family really supports my youtube they know it's something i love and they support me my dad supports me um he when i post my videos on facebook he shares them and that's in one way or the other he shares them you know get me some subscribers he supports me like this is my ring light i needed a ring i stopped videoing in march because i felt my quality was too bad and i felt a ring light to also help you know it got me the ring light and you know things was it got me the ring light to you know assist so it's supporting my channel then my mom also supports my channel also i remember when i wanted to get a mic you know she sent me money she was like oh this will be enough for your mic and honestly i was so happy and my mom always watches my video she watches my video so much like she always watch my video she anytime i upload a new video she always watch it from the beginning to the end even if my audio even if my audience retention is like showing not so much I know I'm sure at least I'm very sure that my mom watched it from beginning to the end. I'm feeling so emotional right now. She almost she always watches it. Then my sister Choma. Um right now Choma is like my creative director. She always helps me in setting up and everything. And she actually did this makeup we are seeing. She's not a makeup artist or anything, but when I want to do a video, she's always like ready. If I tell her come help me and do this, she's always ready, willing to do it for me. And she always watches my video and she always comments. And I know she's going to comment under this one. <laughs> She always leave comments on my videos, help me with setting up my makeup, everything. She helps me. Then my brothers, they always watch my video. They are still small, but they always, even though at times they'll be like, ah, and buy us data so that we watch your video. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, but at least they still help. So my family really supports my video and I'm happy. And my close friends, you know, my loved ones, people that really love me, you know, they also support me in my YouTube and um, also special shout out to somebody too if you know me you know always support my youtube my everything my ads everything so i just have a good support system and even my uncles too and my cousins they also support in the ways they can 
so that's just it so if you want to start a youtube channel just hold on to it don't get discouraged don't let the views discourage you don't let people's opinions because people can be really rude but one thing is that um me i try to avoid to finish so you don't come at me to i'm telling me nonsense like don't come at me to i'm telling me nonsense i just legit going to get disrespected though i don't get angry easily but like don't come and say stupid things so if you have if you want to start a youtube channel just just keep pushing don't let the views discourage you because no matter how low you think you are or how small youtube i think you are there's someone that actually looks up to you very strange but yeah there's someone that actually looks up to you and at times when you are doing all these things you think nobody is seeing you till someone come and say how can i start a youtube channel like five people have already like sent me on whatsapp how can i start they might not they might have never commented on your video they might not even be subscribed to your channel but they watch and somehow somehow you don't know who you're actually encouraging out there so if you want to start a channel do not be discouraged the gadgets will eventually come because youtube gadgets are very expensive the camera i really wanted i checked and said it was 650 000 oh hey hey my heart keep but there are cheaper options like there are cheaper options of 200 000. so just keep going you get there and if you want to start a youtube channel the apps i feel the apps you need especially if you are starting on your phone First of all, you need to download. You, you obviously need to have a Google account and, you know, register your YouTube. There's nothing. Just have a Google account. It comes. There's no special registration. Then you need to have download your YouTube Studio app. I'll try to put the icon so that you know your YouTube Studio app, your Canva app. Canva helps you in designing your thumbnail. Snapseed. Um, I think that's just basically what you need. So thank you for watching my video. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share to your family and friends. Bye.